For this tip on Dynamics AX, I'm going to show you how you can get attributes to show up against a product. Notice here that I have an attribute or a product that I'm looking at, and if I click on this product attributes button, then nothing shows up. There's no, no values here. So to get this working, it's really pretty straightforward. So all we need to do is I'm over here in the product information management screen. And if you look over in the setup area, then there's an attributes section. There's a couple of things that you need to set up. The first is the attribute types. And here I've got some uh, color and country and manufacturer. And these are types of attributes that you can reuse. For example, the yes, no is just a, bool uh, a boolean, boolean, sorry, and uh, has a yes, no, whereas the country has a number of set values associated with it. And the manufacturer is just a text box which has normal values in it that we can just type in. Now also what we're going to do is we're going to create some attribute groups. Now the attribute groups are the values of the attributes that we want to fill in against the product and here I've got some color, I've got the country of origin and notice it's linked over here to an attribute type and that's where it's getting the information from. So So now we have all of these attributes associated with the system. The final step is to go out and create some attribute groups. An attribute group is just a um, list of attributes that you want to associate with a product all at once. So here I've gone out for my homebrew kits. I've got all the attributes that are associated with this. Now the trick to getting the attributes into the system is not to go in and manage the product categories here within the product management what you do is you go into retail and uh, within retail we have category hierarchies here and uh, all I need to do is create a hierarchy here for all of the products that we're managing and then associate a attribute group with any one of these nodes a tip is that if you uh, associate a attribute group here at the header level then at the lower levels, click this inherit and it will inherit the values. So here we can see that for my home brew kit, uh, product category, then we can see that it's got volume, country of origin, manufacturer and so forth. So now if I return back to my product management and go to my release products and then go down to the item that I want to add the attributes for, then to get the attributes to pop up here in the product attributes just go to the product categories item and then from the category hierarchy choose your retail hierarchy that you had and then associate it with the level of that hierarchy so now if I update this now when I click on the product attributes then all of my attributes are going to show up and I can go out and fill in this information now and say yes that is magical and uh, associate any values to it. So now I've got these attributes. I haven't uh, had to go out and add any custom fields to the system which is good and I can always go back and reference these within the system. I think this is a pretty cool way to add additional information to the application without doing any customizations and I think that's pretty cool.